Hey guys, it's Misha, and I wanted to, I'm not sure how many of you have ever seen a box envelope, so I wanted to um, show you how to make one for um, cards that have uh, thick embellishments and you don't want to squish them. So, like this card, somebody sent me this card, and I'm totally going to show you a tutorial on it. Look at that. Is that not cool? See, look at the eyes. She used flat back pearls and drew the eyes on. And then you open it up, and there's your little sentence, or your little sentiment. It says, um, how are you? And then you close it back up and it goes back in. And I've made these before, but I just, you know, kind of forgot about them. So for this specific box card, we're going to use that, a card um, similar to the one that I'm, I just showed you. And on the one side, we're going to score... Um, two and five, is that five eighths? Oh, one, two, three, four, five, yes. Two and five eighths, and then two and seven eighths. And then you're going to flip it to the other side. And you're going to do two and five eighths directly across from it. and then two and seven eighths. So you're gonna see, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see them, but there's two score lines right here. One and then two. And I don't know if you guys know, the side that you score on is not the side you wanna fold on because it cracks your paper. So then turn it over. And since I squirrel on this side, I want to turn it this way. And then the B line is going to be three. Um, where did I mark it? I already have it marked here somewhere. Well, let me measure me again. All right, so three and three and one quarter, and then three and three eighths. Okay, so you're gonna score at three and one quarter. Hopefully, you guys have a score, a scoring board to do this scoring. Oops, I scored that one on the wrong one here. All right, so we'll fix that. And we'll go right here. Since it's a box card, it's not going to be a whole um, lot of issue. Um, so then I hope you guys know that once you score at your crosses on the corners here, now since hopefully you're seeing that, but right here, it intersects four times. You're going to cut on the outer lines. The very outer line, not on the inner line. And then on the B side, it only intersects a little ways in, so that's okay too. Um, but then you're going to fold it the opposite direction and do your scoring. Now, I don't need the scoreboard anymore. So then you will score, fold, score, fold. On. And if I forgot to mention, this is an eight and a half by eight and a half piece of paper. 
And so then when you glue it all together, depending on which direction you want to, like, you can use it this way. And if, as you can see, it is a sm small box with a, like a quarter inch all the way around. And then the bigger you score, the bigger spaces that you score, the bigger the envelope, the thicker it'll be. So hopefully I'm explaining that right. Hopefully you're understanding it is what I should be saying. So then you will glue down your, your pieces here, which is, I'm going to do that really quick because I'm actually thinking I'm going to use this card, this envelope for a card that I'm making for someone. And these will go through the mail, but you need to be careful about putting them through. Um, because depending on the kind of card stock you use, it, it, they're, it's going to get squished. So you need to really be careful on what kind you use. But if you can see that, there's my box envelope. So that's all there is to it. And for every um, thickness of the card, you can make the envelope thicker. Very simple. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you with my next video.